it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vale of Glamorgan Brewery. And this is a can of their Dark Night Black IPA. It's a Batman themed beer. 6% ABV. Very brave. I will say, very brave to kind of go along the lines of like being as glad. I mean, the, some of these companies, is it Warner Brothers that owns the Batman series? Oh, no, no, maybe not. It's, um, oh, what are they called? It's not Marvel, it's the other one. They'll come down on you like a ton of bricks if they find out, you know. That, that's that's the problem when you can, you can do stuff like Mexican cake by Westbrook and put wax down the bottle, make it look good in that sense. You know, talk about cats here, old Tom. You can do all sorts of things like flake and sauce beer by Northern Monk. Ice cream flavoured beers. But the one thing that, that you might get into a little bit of bother about is, is is DC, they're the ones. When you start kind of like encroaching on like Marvel, DC, some of your big mega companies, they don't care. They don't care. I mean, for, for a brewery like Vela Glamorgan, it's not like they want to make a movie about Batman. It's about having a bit of fun and and making a beer and having a bit of fun but well, the danger is once these big companies we we had a, a a brewery here in cardiff and they mentioned something along the lines of something to do with pepsi and it was like literally like i can't remember the name of the beer now but it, it wasn't even mentioning coke or pepsi or, or, or cola but it just encroached on one of their kind of trademarks. And they literally, they had to change the whole beer, cost the brewery thousands of pounds of, of legal stuff. And it's just, I think it's great. Personally, on a personal level, it's fun. It's great. It's a bit of a laugh. But I just, I just kind of wince a little bit, especially when me sticking it on YouTube. Um, DC, you know, you're starting kind of going, hey, hey, look at this, look at this. DC, come and have a look, we're making a Batman beer. Um, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. 6% ABV. Not that anybody from DC will ever watch my videos. It's just the more you talk about something, the more chance... It is of companies like DC finding out about them. But th this is not the first either. The, the, we, we have we have Star Wars beers coming up from this brewery. Um, yeah, bit, bit, bit of fun. Bit of fun. I'll show you the, if you want to see it. Let's look at this beer first. Four finger, tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass, black IPA, 6%. So here's the, here's the Star Wars beer. And you kind of have this, it's the same sort of thing, and it, you know, Disney's going to be all over you type of thing. <laughs> so, lots of carbonation. Maybe a little bit of re-fermentation in the can here. Smells good. Smells like a black IPA, lots of hops coming through, a little bit of roasted malt. Very fruity. Very citrusy, very fruity. Mixing with the roasted malt. It's like it's like a berry. It's it's like like a, a mixed fruit jam aroma with some chocolate coffee caramel. It smells very good. Very, very good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
Oh, that is lovely. That is a lovely, lovely beer. Oh, it's like mixed fruit jam, but you've spread it on a bourbon biscuit. For you American people watching, or, or for the people who don't know what a bourbon biscuit is, can't be many of you, an Oreo. This is like an Oreo with some mixed fruit jam spread on the top of it. And you're getting that kind of cream from the Oreo, you're getting the chocolate biscuit from the Oreo, and you're getting the, like, the mixed fruit jam from the Oreo. Maybe they should make a very similar beer like this and call it kind of, kind of jam on Oreo. I don't know. You can tell that I'm not into marketing. It's got a lovely creamy rich mouthfeel on the beer. It's hoppy, with plum flavours coming through, fig, prune, lots of dark fruit flavours, great creamy rich mouthfeel. Maybe they've used some oats in the beer to get that mouthfeel. Maybe they've just used enough malt in the beer to create that mouthfeel. It's biscuity, it's nutty. It's chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours coming through. Ah, oh, it's very good. It's very, very good beer. Oh, raisin. What were, they, what were those other chocolate bars years ago? Were they pick and mix? Was it a chocolate bar called a Cadbury's Nut and Raisin or something? But in a bar, in a little bar, not necessarily like a, a slab of Cadbury's Fruit and Nut. Yeah, kind of like Cadbury's Fruit and Nut, but I'm sure there was a bar version. Pick and mix or something it was called. Can't quite remember. But it's got that kind of like everything going for it. The chocolate, the kind of wafer, the mixed fruits in the chocolate bar. It's just really good. Really good. Really good beer. And, and of course, they're, they're my local brewery. Now, they contacted me just before Christmas. And we were going to do like this massive live stream celebrate i think it was their birthday or something celebrating their first birthday and um, they've been around a long time this brewery vale and morgan brewery they've been around they were part they were part of the knife and fork group that was a small pub company that they probably owned about four or five pubs around cardiff and the vale of morgan so really nice they went for that like they went for that top end pub approach so they bought a really nice pub in Lantwit Major. They bought a really nice pub in Panath called The Pilot. And they were serving like racks of ribs and T-bone steaks and the fire was roaring. Like proper like top end pub quality. When you went in there it was like oh this is fantastic. So what they decided to do was they bought Vale of Morgan Brewery Knife and Fork. And they were trying to introduce the beer into their kind of top end, top quality pubs around the Vale of Glamorgan. And by all accounts, it didn't quite work out. It, it, they got the food part right, but it, it didn't quite work out in that in the people, I don't think people were really that interested in the beer, which is a shame, which is a shame because this, they're owned by a new company now. They're, they're, they're back being an independent company, Vale of Morgan Brewery. And they, they, they concentrate. When I chatted to these guys at Christmas, they wanted to double down on the quality on their beer. And they've certainly done that. This beer is cracking. I'm going to rate it. Looks good. Great head retention. Maybe a little bit of re-fermentation in the can. A little bit of kind of like slightly over-carbonation. These things happen. Smells good, tastes good. 
It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Dark Knight by Phil of Glamorgan Brewery. Vog Brewery. Thank you very much for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.